Washington, as always. Um, you know, I just got done reading the book, uh, again, Road to Serfdom. If anyone hasn't read it, you got to read it by Hayek. And it's dedicated to the socialists in all parties. <laughs> Okay, so that's the, the opening page. And I can tell you one thing, we don't have a socialist here. We have, we have someone that fights for the Constitution and has done a great job. And he continues to do a great job. And he does what a, a federal representative is supposed to do. He represents us at the federal level. He says, we're not taking from you. Don't come to me and ask for little gifts because that's not my job. My job's to stop taking the money from you and get things done at the federal level. And I'm so sick of fighting my own party on, on certain issues, especially here in Huntington Beach, where we have the socialists in our party, the planners in our party, the people that are beholden to special interests. And I've always supported Dana. He's a wonderful man, and he's not beholden to anyone except the people here in his district, and uh, he represents us well. So we're here to fight for you. Um, it's going to be a great election. You're going to win handily. Right, so fortunately, I don't have to run an election this time. However, I'm going to be working extremely hard for Congressman Rohrbacher, Eric Peterson, and Ron Sterud as well for City Council in Huntington Beach. But what I really want to say about Dana is he is always there for us. You know, I, someone else who's running, I've never seen at City Hall in the six years that I've been involved in Huntington Beach. Dana is always there. He shows up at our campaign events. He writes checks to us. He's at all of our city council meetings where we need him. He comes to the Veterans Day ceremony and Memorial Day down at the pier. I mean, he is a true patriot. We are so lucky to have him. And we all need to get our tails in gear and work very hard to get this man reelected. If there's one thing that you can say about Dana that you can't say about almost any congressman in Washington is that this is this man is honest as the day is long. He is you cannot corrupt him, you cannot buy him and his his competitor that we are battling here in Huntington Beach. So we have to defeat. We've got to kick this guy's ass. Sorry for my words, but um, we really do um, and we need to get Dana back in there. There's no way we can lose this seat. Uh, Dana deserves it. He has fought for us, and we love, we love Dana, and we need to keep him, and for as long as he wants to be there. So, um, thank you so much for for being there for us. I'm so proud to represent this city, but also this whole district is is a marvelous district, and that's why uh, somebody felt uh, he believes that his job is just to be the congressman. You know what? My job isn't to just to be the congressman, and I love the area. My job is to do something for our country and to protect our freedom. It's not to be something, it's to protect you and to protect our freedom. Okay, I wore this hat today. This is a special hat, okay? American Patriot. Because that's what this really is all about. We are the Patriots. Don't forget that, it all depends on us. Those people who gave us this country you know, back in the 1770s, who fought so hard and laid the foundation down, they didn't know your name. They didn't know who you would be. But they knew that you would be here. And that's what it is. The Patriots have to show up. The Patriots have to get the job done. It's not something that has already been accomplished and we never have to worry about it because of the sacrifices made. We know about the sacrifices that have been made for our country, but now it's up to us. And we can lose or we can win America from the top or from the bottom. And I don't have to tell you, we have had a, a monstrous attempt to steal our freedom at the top. Okay, we have had this monstrous coup d'etat against the people's will that we have seen since the last presidential election. We have a president who now has only been able to put in place perhaps one third at the most of his appointees throughout the federal government. And that is specifically because there has been an intentional effort to prevent him from assuming the authorities that the voters gave him in the last election. 
I am fighting the good fight back in Washington to defeat those enemies of our freedom and of all the, of all the things our country is supposed to stand for when it comes to the will of the people being expressed at the federal level. I'm there, but we can lose here as well. Freedom has to come from the bottom up. And uh, I will tell you right now, I, I am confident that the patriots of this district understand that I've been trying to do my best for the things they believe in and for what we've tried to accomplish as a nation. And, uh, but we have to make sure we reach those patriots. One thing about patriots, they were out plowing the fields they were out planting the crops. They were out doing their job when the bell rang and they said that and the British are coming. You can hear that bell. The tyrants, the socialists, the people who want to control our lives and take away our freedom are coming. They are already in Washington and they want to, they want to come all the way from here. And so let's make sure that uh, we don't have uh, our representative I'm glad to say our because I'm just one of you, our representative doing things that further the, the pocketbooks or the power structure of people who go to Washington for their own self-interest. So God bless you all. And um, I want to thank, thank you, each and every one. We are the patriots. And just one reminder, I, I always tell people this. Remember, the real enemy of the patriots during the American Revolution, and all the way through our countries, the real enemy wasn't the British. The real enemy, just as it was during the Cold War, I might add, the real enemy wasn't those guys over there trying to come here to superimpose something on us. The real enemy, starting with the, from the very beginning, were the Tories. The Tories, who didn't believe and what we've talked about in our, in our Declaration of Independence about the rights coming from God to every person and limited government and the only powers that were legitimate of any government were those derived from the consent of the governed and the right of us to have certain specified rights that the government will not step on that part of our lives. Those things the Tories were not in favor of, they were more in favor of a king telling us what to do. We have had Tories with us all the way through our country's history. And it has been the patriots like yourself that has kept this country on course. Well, now it's up to us. Uh, and I am honored to stand with you in this noble endeavor. <laughs> We, we will save this country. God bless you. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. Happy Saturday afternoon here at the Warbacher Huntington Beach Campaign Headquarters Grand Opening. Um, my name is Carrie Swan, and I am happy to be here. Always honored to support Congressman Warbacher. He is a true patriot. Uh, but more than that, and one of the things I have always really appreciated because um, I'm pretty involved in Huntington Beach local politics here. And uh, Congressman Warbacher is the only congressman I've met in Orange County who actually stands up and supports all of his down ticket uh, local candidates. Every election for the past decade, he has opened a campaign office and helped our local city council races and he really has tried to build up the Patriot Network as long as I have known him, and I am so appreciative for that. Uh, and and he's, he's the real thing. Dana is principled. He hasn't gotten wealthy in Congress. Uh, he's always done the right thing, so I'm really honored to be here. Well, I'm out here supporting Dana Rohrabacher for re-election, representing the 48th Congressional District, because he is a man that's always been here for his constituents, who is constantly fighting. Uh, when you're in Washington, people are coming at you from both sides, from all sides, but the congressman has always stood firm and represented the people of this district so well. It's a beautiful district and we deserve a representative as good as Congressman Robacher, so that's why I'm supporting him. You look at what's been going on in, uh, on a macro perspective in the United States right now, um, there's very few people like Dana Robacher that is, is, understands what his convictions are and he sticks by them. And um, he's, uh, his integrity is, is, is unsurpassed. And I think that um, uh, we need to come out and support Dana Robacher 
in his efforts to come out to uh, support us, the American people, on, a, on not only a local uh, perspective, but also on a national perspective. Hi, my name is Helga Arnold, and I'm a legal immigrant from Germany. I came to this country at the age of 18 with $40 and a suitcase, and that was it. I came because I had a dream. I wanted to be a U.S. citizen in the worst way. And now that I know Dana Rohrabacher, he is actually the personification of that dream. He's full of integrity. He is for the common people. And he fights for what he believes in. So I'm very happy to support Dana for Congress. Hi, I'm supporting Dana Rohrabacher because he is the true Republican in the race. He's a fiscal conservative. He can work with President Trump. He's against illegal immigration, and that's what California needs at this time. So I'm supporting Dana Rohrabacher, the true, the one and only Republican in the race. Congressman Rohrabacher has my support. El congresista Rohrabacher tiene mi apoyo.